great concept, good acting, terrible follow through. Terrible, terrible follow through. I think that basically sums up Morbius as a whole. Uh, and sitting here looking at the scores off Rotten Tomatoes, I kind of actually agree with the critics in a lot of ways. Now, normally I'm not really big on critic scores. I think critic scores are usually biased. They usually, it's more about the politics. It's more about the message for them really than the entertainment. That's why you see in a lot of these award shows, a lot of movies that no one actually saw. I mean, that they call greatest movie of the year and no one watched it because that's what these Hollywood elites usually are. I mean, they're usually full of crap in a lot of ways. Uh, they pat themselves on the back because their friends made a movie and they want to tell how great the message is to make themselves... Uh, kind of the king uh, has no clothes moment. Um, and really the audience is unfortunately the little kid that notices too often. But as far as this is concerned, I feel like maybe 65% audience score is really high, really high for this film because I felt like it failed in so many different ways. You had a whole movie. A whole movie where Jared Leto, who actually is really good in this movie. I, I have no complaints about Jared Leto, the actor in this, or or his character at all. At all. Um, but you had him going around drinking Smurf blood, basically. Like, I don't know what this was, movie was supposed to be about. Was this movie... Sp it, it was like... Is this a movie that's like a PG movie or is this a movie that's rated R movie? When you have vampires, you usually think of a lot of blood. The most blood you see in this is when one of the actresses pricks her finger. That's it. That's it. Um, you see a lot of cool swirling in the air and, you know, maybe jumping off a building or something like that. But you don't really get to see it in where it should matter. And that's during fight scenes or during, you know, it would have it wouldn't have hurt if we could have seen a little bit more, I don't know, a morbid uh kind of way about it being a vampire flick at, after all. Like I mean, have something like a little bit more blood, uh, you know, during the action scenes, something along those lines. Something that just kind of has makes it kind of have a like a like a Castlevania feel to a certain extent. It doesn't have to be like overly gruesome. Most van look, most really good vampire films are not overly gruesome. Uh, they are, you know, it's more about bringing up that kind of horror appeal to the scene. It's about bringing out, you know. Things aren't happening. It's not about jump scares, but it's about setting the scene and making the mood seem as grim and just dire as it possibly can. I never got that from Morbius. I never got that from Morbius. We get to see his character. Um, he's got this, you know, this this blood disease that he never, you know, they never really go too too much in detail about. He makes a friend. And then I guess he carries his friend throughout his childhood, but we don't really learn kind of what goes in between uh, this to make me really care about the friendship in general uh, with Matt Smith, uh, who <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. Matt Smith can be a decent actor. He really can. But you cannot tell me that you can't, see the Doctor Who in him. Like, he, like, every time I see him on screen in Morbius, he acts like Doctor Who. Like, he really does. I don't know how he's going to work as Daemon Tar Targaryen. He, I'm just, I hope it's better than what I saw in this because what I saw in this was literally a vampiric Doctor Who. Period. Period. Uh... This movie, you know, I thought I thought I was gonna be watching this movie and go, you know what? 
Jared move Jared Leto ruined this movie. Jared Leto is actually probably the better, the best part of this movie. Believe it or not, yes, Jared Leto, who is by far the worst Joker that ever had been conceived or thought of, even in the most drug-induced lifestyle. But he's good in this. He fits this role really good. Um, The problem with this movie all the way around is there's not a lot of... um, There's not a lot of explanation. There's just like, it feels like it needs more time. This movie really needed about two hours and 20 or 30 minutes, really, to really kind of pick up steam. Um, The action scenes were below average, below average, almost non-existent. Uh, The CGI, the CGI is really what threw me out of it. Really what threw me out of it. Because there was some times that I was like, okay, he actually looks like, Jared Leto actually looks like Morbius. And then there was other times that I was like, wow, this looks like I Frankenstein CGI. It kind of has an I Frankenstein-like feel to it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch that movie. That is a movie that has potential as a stupid concept. Absolutely stupid concept, but it has potential in that, I don't know, it's it's crazy enough that crazier movies have worked. Uh, it just it failed because the CGI was so bad, and, you know, once CGI is bad, you don't really get to, you know, really go in to be like, oh, you know, werewolves and vampires are in that case, gargles and vampires or some garbage like that. In I Frankenstein, you don't really get in immersed in what is going on. You know, we had Shark. You know, you know when I say crazy and out there films, Sharknado has sequels, and so like I Frankenstein might not be the best movie of all time, but I felt like if the CGI would have been done a little bit better, maybe we would have had a few more of those as well. But I just feel like Morbius is in a lot of ways, a huge disappointment for me. Morbius is a film that I actually was really looking forward to. Uh, look, I was a fan of this character in Spider-Man for years. Loved him in the animated series. I thought he was going to be a really, kind of like a, um, a Venom-like character, in that he was going to really, you know, of course he's not going to bring the comedy like what Venom does, but to bring the, I don't know, this feel, this monster verse like feel from a scientific standpoint, uh, was going to bring that about. And I feel like it just disappointed. I feel like not only did it disappoint, but I even kind of felt like, you know, the after scene, the end of credit scenes was like, it was disappointment. Like it was, not even worth talking about. That, that that's how I feel about it. I don't know where it's going. To be honest with you, I'm I'm probably more confused after seeing the end of credit scene than I've ever been in any Marvel movie. Like so, yeah, this movie fails almost on every single level. I feel like it's got a great concept. It's even got decent acting, but the follow through is so poor. The follow through when it comes to action scenes, when it comes to giving us information, when it comes to building up relationships, it fails miserably. CGI fails miserably in this film. I personally, I mean, if I had to rate this film, I would get, I almost don't want to give it a 5 out of 10. And that kills me to say this because I've waited years for this particular film. But it is such, it's almost like a film that you would expect to see on the sci-fi channel. Like, that's the way it felt to me. Maybe a little bit better graphics or CGI, but not that, not that much better. Um, Really kind of had, what was that uh, uh, game, Vampire? Kind of had that feel to it in a lot of different ways. Maybe wouldn't make for a great video game. 
But as far as movie is concerned, it's terrible all the way through. Uh, I barely made it through it. I was bored to death almost from beginning to end. Um, I thought, okay, the climax of the film is really going to kind of bring it together. and We're going to have like this heartwarming, heart, heart-wrenching heart moment. And I'm like, no, we didn't get that. We didn't get a cool fight scene. We didn't get any of that. We just got a lot of confusion. Uh, so yeah, overall, if you like Morbius, the character, you know, go check it out. But if you're asking me as a movie goer, uh, just, you know, who's just casually wanting to see a good film, probably wouldn't waste my money on this film. I, I, I almost would say without a doubt, I would not waste my movie on this unless you are Spider-Man, you know, Marvel kind of fan. But if you're just your average movie goer, skip this one. Skip this one. It's not worth your money. Really not worth your money. Not worth where the gas prices are now. Not worth wasting gas to go see this movie. Just saying. But anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think down below. Do you agree with the critics? Do you agree with me? Who actually for once agrees with the critics? Or do you say that it's 65% uh, good movie? Probably not. I, I, I would love to see the people that would actually believe that this is an above average movie. I would give it 4 or 5 out of 10. That's just my score on it. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments down below. And as always, guys, if y'all enjoyed this review of Morbius, please like, subscribe, and leave that comment down below. Check us out on, on Rumble and Minds as well. And as always, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all take care.